Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Eno Rita James of Goshen High Couture Nigeria Limited. In my channel, I teach you how to use simple pattern making systems that will make your sewing life very easy. I also teach you how to create your own patterns manually in case you're not so used to using computers or systems to create your patterns. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to create a basic body block professionally. There are lots of videos online on how to create basic body blocks, but most of them are not done professionally, really. And the few ones I've seen tend to be a little bit complicated. So I try to make things, simplify things for people that have sewing talents and they, they want to take their talents to the next level. They're interested in learning pattern drafting but they want to do it in a very simple way, in a way they can understand. In this video, before I show you how to create your basic body block, there are a few things you're going to need. And that is what I'm going to show you right now in my computer. These are the items I'm going to be using to create this professional uh, body block. The very first thing, of course, is a female size chart. I'm going to be referring to it. And of course, I have uh, shown you a diagram of how to do your measurements. And then a free form to fill in your measurements. And of course, the diagram of what you are going to be charting, plotting. And step-by-step -step method on how you're going to plot this professional basic body block you may be wondering how do you get all those things before you can start this pattern drafting don't worry i have you covered there is a link below this video i advise you to click on that link it takes you to a download where you download all the items i've just shown you it is best you download it because that is the only way you can really understand what i'm going to show you right now on how you can create your patterns using these point systems. If you ever think of doing a CAD, that is a computer-aided designing in terms of fashion drafting, using a computer-aided designing system, you need to know that. But if you're not interested in doing that, then you don't need to bother yourself. You see, I like making things easy. If you just want to learn manually how to do this, there are a lot of videos online. I even have videos online on how you can do it simple, manually, go your way. But if you want to have real fitting clothes, professional looking clothes, and you want to take your fashion uh, talent and make it a business, then this is a video for you. So let's go straight and let's go to my pattern board and let us start drafting. So we've gotten all our items that we are going to need to construct our professional basic body block. These are all the papers that have been downloaded. An illustration to show you how to do your measurement for this pattern block. Of course, a form for you to fill in all your measurements. I've filled in my measurements, which I'm going to be using for this basic uh, prof professional basic bodies block. I, got, I went ahead to do it in centimeters and also in inches. So it depends on what your tip is. If your tape is in inches, of course, you use the inches to be able to do the basic body block. My tape is in centimeters, so I'm going to be using my centimeter measurements to do that. So first and foremost, what measurements are we going to need for it? The measurements I've marked in asterisk is what we're going to need. We're going to need your shoulder measurement chest measurement, bust measurement, waist to hip measurement, hips measurement, neck size measurement, arms eye depth measurement, back width measurement, nape to waist measurement. And we're going to need what I call the dart measurement. This you're going to get from the size chart which is part of the download you're going to get when you click the link below this video and download all these uh, 
items and if you look at the size chart all you need to do is to check where your bust circumference is and you take the that measurement for that for instance my bust circumference is 96 right here so i'm just going to come down and take the that measurement for 96 that is 8.2 so wherever your bust measurement falls on this female size chart just go take that that measurement and that is what we are going to use to do this constructing so i've taken it and i've written my dash measurement as 8.2 centimeters so now let's start the constructing so these are the three things we are going to be using we are going to be using this chart showing you exactly the numbering points as we are going to do our professional basic bodies um, uh, block and of course you need your measurement that you've already written and of course you need these instructions on how to do it if you can follow me if you don't want to download this no problem you can follow me on the video you can decide just to follow the video but it is good to have this because this is very self-explanatory and helps you understand it faster So first of all, cut your pattern paper like so and place it on the table. And then you're going to draw a rectangular line. This part of the line is your hip circumference divided by 2 plus 2.5 centimeters. If you're using centimeter tape. While this part of the line is your full length. That is from your shoulder up to your hips. As I repeat, from here to here is shoulder to hips. From here to here is your hip circumference divided by 2 and plus 2.5. Then ensure that you sellotape your pat pattern paper on your table. And then we are going to start. Our starting point is going to be here. We have marked 0. And that's where we are going to start the pattern. So as you can see on my pattern paper, I've gone ahead to mark the points as shown on this diagram. Let me place it like that because this is how it's going to be. So as you can see, I have marked my point 1 to 2, point 1 to 5, and point 5 to 7. And you can see from point 3, from 2 to point 3, point 5 to point six and of course point seven to point eight that's what i have done on my pattern so that's point one point two point five point seven point six point eight point three and from the description here this will tell you how i got those points as you can see here my point 0 to point 1 is 1 1.5 centimeters apart right there 1.5 centimeters apart then from point 1 to point 2 is your arms eye depth plus 0 0.5 so you get your arms eye depth measurement at 0 0.5 centimeters and that gives you point 1 to point 2 now point 1 to point 5 is your waist line that is from your shoulder to your waist and of course from your point five to your point seven is your waist to your hip and then just extend the lines to meet the center foot lines and that is what you have for now yes Remember, I'm working with centimeters. So what we are doing now is this point. That is point, point 0 to point 0.9. This is what I've done here. And once you've done that, we are now going to use our curve ruler and we are going to curve to our neck curve, joining 1 to 9. To get our point 10, divide your arm's eye measurement by 5 subtract 0 0.7 centimeters and that gives you from here to here 
that is your point 10. From that point 10, you now draw a straight line approximately half of your center back measurement. Draw the line here up to here, and then from your neck here, you draw a drop down, which is your shoulder measurement to meet this line, and that is your point 11. To get your shoulder that, find the midpoint between point 9 and point 11. And then once we find that midpoint, draw a line 5 cm down, 1 cm to the right. And that is going to be the midpoint for our darts. And once you create your darts, you draw the first dart line, separate them with 1 cm, 1 cm, and ensure that this dart leg is the same distance with this dart leg. See where this dart leg is. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to correct it because of the dart and then join it to this particular one. So now to get our point 14, that is our point 14, just measure your uh, back width divided by 2 at 0 0.5 centimeters. And then mark that point here and then draw from point 2 to point 14. Once you've done that, extend the line from point 14 to meet this line that is coming from point 10. And that will give you your point 15. Now, get the midpoint between point 2 and, of course, point 14. That's the midpoint between the points, and then we'll place it at point 17. And then the same distance, we are going to measure it on the waistline, and we're going to measure it on the hip line. So on the waistline, it's going to be point 18. On the hip line, it's going to be point 19. Now let's come to the front end. So we're now going to create our neck curve. Now to get this neck curve, which is point 20 and point 21, with point 4 at the center, just come here. This is your point 4. Now you're going to measure your next circumference divided by 5 and subtract 0 0.7 centimeters. That is from here to here. That is point 20. And then from here to here, you also divide your next circumference by 5, but subtract 0 0.2 centimeters. And now we are going to use a curve ruler, and we are going to curve here to here to form our neck front curve. So using my French curve, as you can see, I have curved from point 20 to point 21 to form my neck curve now to get your points point 22 and your point 23 right here this is what you will do you will get your chest measurement divide by two plus your that measurement divide by two i repeat get your chest measurement divided by two add it to your that measurement divided by two and then mark it from your point 3 to your point 23, 22. So that's your point 22. Now find the midway between 3 and 22. And that gives you your point 23. As I said, if you follow the instructions of the booklet that you downloaded, it will be very easy for you to follow. So now we've gotten our point 22 and our point 23. Three. From our point 23, right there, you will now draw a straight line to join the waistline, point 24, and continue to join the hip line, point 25. Now we'll be drawing this front dart, this front dart, and to get that on our pattern paper, you come to your point 23 right here, drop down 2.5 centimeters, and then you come up here. Remember your neck curve. Then you're going to measure your dart width. Remember, I told you in the beginning of the video how to get your dart width from the standard female measurements. 
So from here, you're, measuring, you're going to input that that width. My own that width was 8.2 centimeters. So from here, from here, right from here, this thing is not too clear. From here to this point is my 8.2 centimeters. So what we are going to do now, we are now going to join from our both points, just draw a line to meet this point here, which is point 20, and then draw from here to meet our boss point to form our front dart. Next, we'll be creating our front shoulder drop, this shoulder drop right here, this shoulder drop. The shoulder drop of the front is normally about 1.5 centimeters lower than the shoulder drop of the back for a professional perfect fitting dress. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. And to do that, you go to your pattern paper, go to point 11. Point 11 is the end of the shoulder drop of the back. That's the back. That's the end. You're going to come down 1.5 centimeters here. And that will be your point 28. 1.5 centimeters and then you draw a line about 10 to 15 centimeters long and stop there that will be around your point 29 so what we are going to do now we are go now going to join from this that end remember this is the front join from this that end and come down with the shoulder length my shoulder length is 13 centimeters so that shoulder line is going to just meet up at this point 29 to get the front shoulder drop our next thing is to form this front curve for our sleeves. And that's what we are going to be doing now. So we are going to be looking for point 31 and point 32. We already have point 22. So that's what we are going to do now. How do we get this point so that we get a good curve for our front pattern? So the first thing you need to do is to come here to your center front. Remember point 3? This was your chest line. Measure your chest line to your front neck drop, which is your point 21. Whatever you get between here and here, divide it by 3. Between here and here gave me 15 centimeters. I divided it by 3 and it gave me 5 centimeters. That 5 centimeters, I'm going to come up here to point 22. And I'm going to measure from here to here. So between here and here is my 5 centimeters and i'll put my dots for that point 31 now to get point 32 right here you just get your distance between 22 and point 14 this is still on your chest line between 22 and point 14 get your mid point and that will give you your point 32 from here we are now going to draw a line to intercept we we'll do a line from here straight to intercept the waistline down to the hip line in this section we are going to be drawing this hammer and you can see the ammo for the back and the ammo uh, for the front. And if you can notice that this ammo is going to be drawn in between the points 14 and points 22. That is how we are going to draw it. And this is going to be touching point 31. And this here is touching point 16 for the back ammo. Now, the most important thing is that how do you know how deep your armhole will be? That's how do we get this measurement here, right here, to show you how to make your curve so that it can be accurate for the front armhole. And how do you get it to make your curve so that it can be accurate for the back armhole? Now, the difference is the distance between here and here, 14 points, and the distance at the uh, point. 22 for the front armhole and to get this distance it is related to your bust size to be able to get that um, curve 
adequately you're going to need this female size chart and you're also going to need this instruction chart both of which are part of the download link that i talked about in the beginning of the video if you go to the female size chart if you go to here to look at your bust for me my bust is 96 cm right here and that is size 16. so whatever your bust is if your bust is 88 cm that means you are size 12. If your bust is 92 that means you're size 14. if your bust is 96 like me that means that you're size 18. if you're using an inches just convert it to inches and then you'll get exactly what your size is so my size here is 16. so what i'll come i'll come to the instructional chart the very last instructions here yeah? you see that from sizes 16 to 20 from that point 14 that i just mentioned you're going to mark three centimeters diagonally and then from point 22 2.5 centimeters and that's exactly what i have done here you can see here this point 14 i've marked my three centimeters and i come to point 22 and I've also marked my 2.5 centimeters. So now that we've done that, all we have to do now is to use our French curve. And then we are going to curve like so. Just like so. Starting from this 30. Remember, that is the shoulder drop for the front. That is the shoulder drop for the front. So we are going to curve it following every line to meet it at point 32. I will do the same thing for this one and then we are going to curve it from the shoulder drop of the back right here from point 11 we are now going to curve it 16 put it curve it here and then curve it to come and meet point 32 i hope it is clear so our arm hold is now shaped for the back and is also shaped for the front so that is our pattern and that the front and the back is separated by this line that's the line that separates the front pattern front pattern piece from the back pattern piece in my next video i'm going to show you how to shape this basic professional basic body block using standard darts and from the shaped basic block we'll now be able to do a lot of pattern manipulations <laughs> that brings me to the end of this video i hope that was not too complicated for you if it is, don't worry. If you watch it one, two, three times, you will get it. I am certain you will get it. But if you have any challenges, just drop your comments. And believe me, I answer all my comments. Whatever comment you have, whatever challenges you have, just put it on the comment section and I will answer you immediately. Thank you so much for watching. Till my next video.